Hi, I'm Mike. Now, a lot of people have that tricky area of the garden that doesn't get much sunlight. And today, I'm going to be showing you some great ways to fill that dark area with some fantastic evergreen shrubs. Right, the first one I'm going to recommend is a great option for the back of the border. Um, this will give you plenty of height, and uh, it's also got year-round interest because you've got the white flowers in the summer, and then you've got berries in the autumn. And this can also go in any kind of soil as well. So if you've got clay soil, it's also fine in that, very adaptable. It doesn't need much maintenance. You can prune it as and when you want. Just be aware that it is a thorny shrub. So if you've got little kids running around, that might not be the good choice for you. Now, the next one I'd like to recommend is a camellia. Well, this is a very popular shrub and the glossy dark green foliage really reflects the light well. And you've also got some stunning early flowers which look really nice and brighten up that shady area. Now, it does go in acidic compost best, so I'd recommend planting it in some ericaceous compost just to get the best out of it. Right, the next one is one I particularly like. It is uh, Nandina domestica. Now this is also called heavenly bamboo, but it's not related to bamboo at all, really. Um, it's got wonderfully delicate foliage, but it's actually a lot tougher than it looks and it'll withstand our winters just fine. The main aspect of this that's interesting is the dark red foliage, um, just really a burst of colour in the shade. And it's also got really feathery white flowers in the summer, just a real delicate touch to it. Um, again, this will do best in acidic soil. So again, get some of that ericaceous compost just to plant this up. But this will really go nicely in the middle of the border, just around three to four foot high, and just give you that movement when the wind does come through as well. Now, a good partner to the Nandina domestica is another plant called Leucotho. Now this is a lovely compact shrub and it shares much of the appeal of the Nandina because you've got that bright red foliage on the top and in the summer you've got these racemes of white flowers that will just fill all of the branches and just really give that bit of extra colour. Now both the Leucotho and the Nandina do like acidic compost so yet again ericaceous compost is what you're going to be needing to use to get the best out of both of these shrubs. But this is a really low maintenance one. It doesn't need any pruning as such. Um, you could just let it grow and it will remain compact and just be that great shrub for the middle of that border. Right, the next shrub is a nice compact one that's going to grow a bit smaller. This is Calmia latifolia. Now it's a more unusual shrub and it's a late spring flowerer. So it's going to be blooming from around end of May and definitely into June. It flowers from early summer and it's got these wonderfully patterned flowers which are quite unique. And this is going to be coming into flower just as shrubs like rhododendrons are finishing so it makes some nice summer interest. Um, the foliage is very tough so it'll withstand a windy spot and it's going to be a great option just for that lower part of your border in the front. It does prefer acidic compost, which seems to be a recurring theme with these plants. So again, ericaceous compost is the best for this plant. Right, the next one I'd like to look at is a scented shrub. Now this is Sarcococca, or it's also known as sweet box or Christmas box. And it's a great shrub that's not going to get more than a couple of foot high. Evergreen, tough foliage and it's also got these lovely fragrant white flowers very early in the year, just after Christmas. So this is great for just putting at the front of the border where you're going to walk past and get that lovely scent coming through. Now lastly, a great option for some ground cover is your vinca, or periwinkle as it's also known. Now this particular variety, Illumination, has lovely variegated foliage, nice bright colour that's really going to give a lift to that dark area and the blue flowers in summer, absolutely covered in them and it looks really great. This needs nothing more than just moist soil, but it will go in any soil and that will be just fine as long as it's not going to dry out. So there we go, we've got a great variety of evergreen shrubs for shade that offer year-round interest in terms of foliage and flower and they also offer a variety of heights from your tall shrubs right down to your small shrubs.